Hello, welcome to the Mini Army Show, and today we're doing a big one. What have we got? We got this for Christmas. Everyone is fucked on Pegasus Bridge. Yes. And it's actually an extremely big box. So it, this is a huge one. This is a full diorama set, and this has. Oh, we're looking forward to doing something. And he's just screaming like, what the hell is happening? He's going, ah, oh, Jesus, who's these guys coming out with a bridge? I thought I was going to have a nice night. And next thing I'm getting all shot up. Oh, Jesus. Right, that's that's how I imagine him talking. I should imagine everybody talking. Except in German. All right, so yes. this looks like a very, very cool set. And this one you get... You get the mm. Opel Blitz truck, the cable wagon. The, the 50 German infantry, 50 British paratroopers, battlefield accessories. You say the, the German AA guns and stuff. AA gun, there's a, there's a and small, the, small, and small, the Orn Rover or two Pegasus size packs, four, uh, a pack 40 and a pack And 30. the Orn slash Pegasus bridge. And a lot of accessories. So we're really looking forward to doing this one, aren't we, buddy? Yes. So we can't wait to crack this open and get and get going on this. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Don't we want to we open it now? Yes, we will. Now here we are. Look at the instructions of these. What brilliant instructions. Look how how nicely and look, printed they up and there. They have I love the pictures. Yeah, the pictures are fantastic, aren't they? The artwork and stuff. The instructions that's that. so this They're pretty clear too. Oh yeah, yeah, brilliant. Each Larry. So we're Super looking forward to getting stuck into modeling this. And by each and every and and they we just got through. Ones. Sorry, buddy, but there, there, there is the British paratrooper sprues. There they are. We've got these figures separately. Yeah. For war gaming, uh, the German sprues over here. Right. Well, how many men do you get, buddy? Is it fifty, 50 in each one? Each. You get. Then you get the German crew and the guns. Wait, just, wait what's this little plastic thingy? I think uh, it might be for the clear glass of the can well spotted that we didn't lose that for me. It might be for the clear glass of the uh, the truck, I'd say. Uh, so there's the the little Jeep, the German Jeep, the cable wagon. And there's cable the wagon. Opel Blitz. There's the Opel Blitz. There's the back of it. Um, and we have an actual Opel car. Yes, we do. We have an Opel. We have an Opel Sapphira, don't we? So. Yeah. Uh, here's like oil drums and, and these are the battlefield accessories signs and stuff no I'd say these sign. are boxes I think they're signposts no I think they're boxes because it says battlefield accessories nope. it has a box nope. oil drums and sandbag walls mm, yeah. so and here, hedgehogs so here's loads of sandbags what are the hedgehogs and you, it's a handy thing about these is you can use them as a guide if you put some nilly put together and you can build your own ones and use them as a size guide. There's big poles, there are all there's signs out there, are definitely signs. Yeah. Uh, so what else? Here's the main here's the main fella, right? And the Pegasus it smells bridge. like burning wood. Yeah, what does it smell like? Burning wood. Because it's laser etched wood, right? It's not so nice. It's plywood and it's laser etched and it's um I recommend this kit for everybody who likes the smell of burnt wood. Yeah, the the burnt wood uh, smell is nice, isn't it? If I was going look to how make easy an air the, look how easy that's popping and that's yeah. just falling out there. And if I was going to make an air freshener, it smelled burnt wood. And I think we look, look at these like you can see just they're, falling. They're easily popping out. So yeah, so must be some laser that burns that out, eh? Yeah. Look, and it's kind of popping out as it's just touching it. I wonder how strong that laser was. Sorry, buddy. I wonder how strong that laser was. Like there's different you know, there's measurements that the laser that you need for lasers. I can't remember what it's called. I wouldn't say and, you want to put your finger yeah. under. Anyway, so that's it hurts. That's a quick look through of the stuff that you get in this Pegasus Bridge. Uh, it says MDF laser cut. Oh the MDF box. is it, right? So you get there's the bridge, the German artillery, the German stuff. Wait, what does MDF um, mean? British paratroopers. What does MDF um, mean? I don't know, it's like a man-made fibre wood. Alright, so, buddy, that's a whole lot of kit stuff to be making, no, isn't it? This is going to take at least a month. Right. At least. Yeah, I've got, I've, I've got a few little projects going, and when I finish them, this is like the number one priority to get this modelled. Alright, so we'll get back to this when we've progressed a bit. Look how burnt these are. 
So anyway, back to the model. This is a this is a weird kind of wood material, right? Yeah, laser cut. That we're using here, and uh, yeah, laser cut wood. And uh, I've now I've now spread I've spread and it all grey. It's basically all painted, but um. And the, this moves. The, these there's two gate thingies that move. One on the, there's one on both sides. When I first went to to stick it together, I used um, PVA. a PVA glue, Ooh, but then. I went, you know the way you'd start to build things and then you go back and read the instructions? Yeah, and you, and you accidentally screwed up. Yeah, well it said not to use PVA, <laughs> so that was the hint. So I went back and then I used a very watery kind of uh, just a normal modeling glue we used, but the water, it was very watery and it kind of soaked into it, right? So then that wasn't any good either. Uh, and the thing about it the took us three attempts to glue it together. Yeah, so the PVA glue, um, didn't work. No, but the PVA glue, it's, it, sits, it takes ages to, to set. So yeah. if you did one thing, you'd have to wait a whole day for it to uh, set. So the PVA glue is slow, and they say in the instructions not to use it. And then we use. Like a week. I, then what I ended up using, I, I had this super glue kind of gel. It was Yoohoo, kind of Yoohoo glue, uh, super glue, and it was a jelly kind of stuff. It was like a gel. So that that worked well for it, and uh, it's it's gone together. It's gone together well. There's a few little things that have fallen off, but they're easy to stick back. The bridge looks amazing, though. Though we're very happy yeah. with the bridge, right? So, as a model, it's it's gone together really well. There was there was only one little portion that was kind of hard to pop out. Apart from that, the model pops out really really easy, and it's very very detailed. When we and opened it, looks, it, there were bits popping out randomly. Yeah, and it looks and it looks brilliant. Well, we will come back to this when we complete a diorama for it yeah. and we'll have all the little trucks and stuff like that. We might just uh, sh show the trucks and how they yeah. turned out. So, the more subscribers we get, the less views we get. Yeah, that's kind of a phenomenon that we're hitting here, that we get more subscribers. We have 300. And we get less views. So if you've watched it, if you've watched this video to this point, make sure to hit like and subscribe because it keeps yeah. us doing the videos when we uh, get interest. Yeah. So that's all from Mini Army Show and the Pegasus Bridge diorama. If you like it, tell a friend. If you don't, tell an enemy. Bye! Bye. Because I wear a light.